This is a broken laptop LCD screen. Uh, the screen itself s still works, but the inverter board that's built into it is broken, so the backlight um, always had some malfunctions. This one in particular would not turn on the backlight unless the laptop was plugged in, which kind of defeats the purpose of a laptop. Luckily, a new screen fixed that problem, and we're left th with this broken one. So there's a circuit board down here, that's uh, probably a driver and the built-in inverter which controls the backlight. I would assume on this display the backlight is LED. It used to be a really skinny fluorescent tube that actually uh, shined up through a, a light uh, diffuser. But uh, modern screens are all LED backlight. Or if it's an LED display, that means that each individual pixel has its own LEDs. So as you see, just from uh, bending it, I cracked the glass there. This is pretty cool because you can see through it and you can see the, the liquid crystal moving around. So back here, there should be a couple... This is just a... Um, frosted plastic film, and there's a couple Fresnel lenses. And another frosted sheet of plastic, just for diffusing light. It's a really brittle plastic. white backdrop. So you can see that there's individual LEDs all along the bottom there in that gap and that shines up through the uh, the frosted plastic which acts as a light diffuser and that's what actually gives the entire screen its backlight is a row of LEDs down in the bottom of the screen. So I believe these two Fresnel lenses are polarized in opposite directions, or um, I don't know if polarized is the right term, uh, but the lines on the Fresnel lens might be vertical on one of these and horizontal on the other. Which actually there you can see the lines as I adjust the angle of these. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, anyway, that's all that's in one of these LCD panels.